This is a video recipe on how to cook asparagus. I'm Tess, and I'll show you the basics on how to cook the best asparagus, and you're only going to need four ingredients and five minutes. Stay tuned! You want the asparagus to be as fresh as possible. Look for a smooth skin, a bright green color, the stalk should be firm and straight, and the ends should be freshly cut. You can also find asparagus in a purple and white color. The heads or spears should be green, compact, and firm, not discolored and mushy. If the heads are yellowish in color and the ends are woody, that means the asparagus is old. I like my asparagus stalks not to be too thin or too thick, somewhere in between, about the diameter of my pinky. The thinner the stalk, the sweeter the asparagus. You can cook asparagus in many ways. Roasted, boiled, blanched, steamed, grilled, fried, or as I'm doing today, sautéing in a pan. This is a simple and quick way to cook asparagus, and it turns out perfect and delicious every time. So let's get started. You want to wash the asparagus and cut about 1-2 to two inches off the ends, as they can be hard and difficult to eat. If I plan on making some homemade chicken or soup broth, I will toss in the asparagus ends and add a good, rich flavor. I'm adding a couple dabs of butter into my pan. I have my pan on medium heat, and that is around a 5 or a 6 on my electric stove. Once the butter is melted, I'm adding in a couple cloves of minced garlic, and this is optional. Cooking and stirring for about 20 to 30 seconds, or until I can smell the garlic, and then I'm adding in my asparagus. Seasoning with a little salt. You can also add black pepper or any seasonings that you like. Cooking and tossing for about 3 to 4 minutes. It doesn't take long for the asparagus to cook. I like mine with a little crunch and texture. You can taste the asparagus while it's cooking for your desired tenderness. If your asparagus has thicker stalks, you can add a drizzle of water, cover, and this will help steam and cook the asparagus. Just when the asparagus is about done, I squeeze in the juice of a lemon, and today I'm using a Meyer lemon. I love the taste, and it really adds a pop of brightness and flavor. Giving that a good toss for a minute, and it's done. We really like asparagus in the morning served with eggs. The asparagus has a great flavor, and the lemon gives it a pop of freshness like spring. Asparagus will last up to a week in the refrigerator. I store my asparagus the same way as I store my green onions and fresh herbs, like parsley and cilantro. I cut off a little of the ends, put them in a jar or container with a little water on the bottom, and cover the top lightly with a loose plastic bag. This helps retain the moisture and keeps them fresh as long as possible. I hope this How to Cook Asparagus video recipe was helpful to you. Have a good day and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steemit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!